ROTC program. Sorry, she's still not getting on the camera top.
Green County Tech will receive the ball to start the ball game.
David Williams again on the carry. It's up right on the corner, second down.
Stream it second and 13 for the Mustangs.
Clap if you want to go first. Eagles, 14, Mustangs, 13. David, today is Aiken's Factory Tournament for the kids and Mustangs. Dallas Grass, take it off for the Eagles.
the United States gives them on another run. Gain of eight, second and two.
Mercedes will back up to the 22 yard line. For the extra point attempt. Thank you. 
before 1970 era and the Four City High School after 1970 era. Our first inductee this evening is from the Lincoln High School era, Mr. Russell Randall. Mr. Randall is a 1970 graduate of Lincoln High School where he led it in football and played defensive end on the Tiger team. As a sophomore, Mr. Randall was named the All-Region Defensive Team and he was a three-time All-State slash All-Region player. Mr. Randall played on the Hall of, under Hall of Fame coach Gene Wilson's 1968 undefeated Tiger football team. And while at Lincoln High School, Tiger teams that he played on posted a 28 and 3 record. Mr. Russell Randall. Our next inductee is Dr. William White Ross. Dr. Ross is a 1964 graduate of Lincoln High School. She was a Lady Tiger Letterman in basketball. Dr. Ross was an all-conference and all-state player her sophomore, junior, and season, senior season. She was a member of the 1962 and 1964 Lady Tiger 3A Conference Championship basketball teams. And while attending Lincoln, Dr. Ross was always selected to guard the other team's best offensive player. Dr. Ross is a graduate of Philander Smith College and is a tenured professor at Philander Smith. She serves as an associate, as associate professor and chairperson of the English Language and Letters Department in the Division of Arts and Humanities, Dr. Lillian Ross White. Our, right -right. Our next inductees are from the Four City High School before 1970 era, and it's the 1957 undefeated Mustang football team. The 1957 Mustang football team was the first undefeated football team in the history of Fort City High School. The coaches were Jim DeVazier, Max Graham, and Vance Sales. The Mustangs finished the season with an 11-0 record and outscored their opponents by a 366 to 55 margin. This Mustang team was responsible for three of five two-double-A conference championships during this era. Of those five championship teams, the 1957 team was number one in scoring. The team held the number one spot in the state 2A rankings and was number two statewide only to the Little Rock Central National Championship team. This team included eight all-district players, three all-state players, three all-American players, six college scholarship players, several professional, professional sports players, NCAA and NFL officials, high school and college coaches, and several Arkansas Sports Hall of Fame mem members, including Don Campbell, Clifford Garrison, Donnie Kessinger, and B. Lindsay. The 1957 Mustang football team. Our next inductee is Mr. Billy Leblong. Mr. Leblong is a 1960 graduate of Fort City High School, where he lettered in football and basketball. In football, Mr. Lee Long played on four undefeated teams. He played both ways on the 1959 undefeated Mustang team and was a member of the Lucky 13 who controlled most of, most of the playing time. In basketball, Mr. Lee Long had the opportunity to play for two state titles. He also played American Legion Baseball in Fort City, Mr. Billy Lee Long. 
a first thing that the from the post-1970 era of Mustang athletics is Mr. Carroll Askin Jr. Mr. Askin is a 1979 graduate of Fort City High School. He was a football and tennis letterman for the Mustangs. In football, Mr. Askin was a two-time All-State and All-Conference player and was selected to play in the 1979 Arkansas Activities Association All-Star Games. As a Mustang tennis player, Mr. Askin was a two-time All-State tennis player. He was second seed as a sophomore and first seed as a junior and senior on the tennis team. As a senior, he made it to the finals of the conference tournament and semifinals of the state tournament. Mr. Aston was the first singles player at the University of Arkansas in Monticello and made it to the semifinals of the AIC Conference Tournament while in college. Mr. Aston is Director of Senior Health Insurance for the State of Arkansas Insurance Department. Mr. Carroll Aston Jr. Our next inductee from the post-1970 era is Mr. Denicio Blanchett. Mr. Blanchett Sounds like he's supported by several of his frat brothers tonight. He's a 1995 graduate of Fort City High School. Mr. Blanchett was a three-year letterman in football and track for the Mustangs. In football, Mr. Ch Mr. Blanchett was All-State and an All-Conference athlete. He was a two-time KSJK KFC Player of the Week, a member of the Arkansas Press Super King, a Mustang Booster Club Athlete of the Year, the a member of the Arkansas Democrat Gazette's Top 8 Quarterbacks, the Jones Bowl Sun, Best Under the Sun, who's who among national high school athletes, and played in the 1995 Arkansas Activities Association All-Star Game. In track, he was also an All-State and All-Conference athlete. After graduating from Forest City High School, Mr. Blanchett accepted a scholarship offer to play football at Arkansas State University. He was a four-year letterman and, and an ASU Iron Indian for four years. In 1999, Mr. Blanchett was an ASU Warrior inductee. Mr. Blanchett is a network administrator for Tenneco and Football. Mr. Benicio Blanchett. Mr. Andre, Bo Andre Bohannon. Mr. Bohannon is a 1985 graduate of Fort City High School. Mr. Bohannon was a three-year letterman in football and track for the Mustangs. In football, he was an All-State receiver and defensive back. Mr. Bohannon was selected as St. Francis County Player of the Year and played in the 1985 Arkansas Activities Association All-Star Game. In track, Mr. Bohannon was a hurdler and a state qualifier. After graduating from Fort City High School, Mr. Bohannon accepted a scholarship offer to play football for the University of Central Arkansas. At UCA, Mr. Bohannon was a three-time all-conference player, including leading the league in interceptions. He was, an all he was also an honorable mention for NAIA All-American, an all-conference punt, punt returner, a first-team All-American punt cornerback, and was a 2014 UCA Hall of Fame inductee. At UCA, Mr. Bohannon played on two conference championship teams, and a national championship team, Mr. Andre Bohannon. Our final inductee this year is Mr. Verdo Robo, represented by his sister, Stacy Robo. Mr. Robo was a 1976 graduate of Fort City High School. He was a three-year letterman in football and track for the Mustangs. In football, Mr. Robo was an all-conference and all-state lineman. In track, he was an all-conference shot and discus thrower. Mr. Roebuck accepted a scholarship offer from the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff to play football and was a starter his freshman and sophomore years. Mr. Verdo Roebuck. Thanks to everyone for sitting with us for, during tonight's Hall of Fame induction. Let's honor these folks with another round of applause, please.
Mustang dance team, are you ready?
Alright, Mustang Nation, third quarter. Mustang gets the ball. Darian Jenkins to return.
tonight on the plate.
first and ten going to the 41 yard line.
54 to go, 541 to go in the third quarter. Golden Eagles 36, but your mighty Mustangs still have the lead with 39. Go down some more. You can come across if you 
quarterback keeper, no way, third down. One minute to go, third quarter, one minute.
Aiken to Aiken's first down, Mustang! Mustang fans, don't forget October 11th, back home for a homecoming as the Batesville Pioneers come to town, October 11th.
Keaton pushes it up to the four.
victory for Nation. Need take it again.